I am the much shorter Tejas Gosai, and we're here with the South Point Marcellus Shale Chamber of Commerce. Bob Aronson, get it right? Yes. Is an upstate New Yorker trying to figure things out properly to get things going. We all know that New York basically has a moratorium on drilling, and you don't like that, right? Well, it's not really a moratorium. They just haven't approved it yet, but it's closer and closer every day. And we're just north of the Pennsylvania border and have a former army base that's 10,000 acres. Wow. Uh, and we're hoping to see companies that are doing it here right. expand into our area. Well, that's prime real estate, though. That's 10,000 acres on top of the Marcellus and Utica, then. It's on, particularly on top of the Utica, which is unexplored yet, but it's uh, prime, uh, because nobody's coming into New York yet, and uh -huh. they can't, uh, it's not prime yet. Right. So now's a good time. We have a couple of companies who've located there, and we're on very friendly terms. So why are you at the Doug conference? Is this the reason? We're trying to make people aware of the fact that there are some interested parties in New York and right. that they'll have us in the hey, back of their mind when it does start. We're right on top of the uh, area that'll be first in New York in the southern tier. That's excellent. So how, how many of these uh, conferences have you been to? And are, are you getting interest here? We're getting lots of interest, funny enough, and we've started to go to more uh, uh, conferences that are in this industry. I think economic development seeks target markets. Right. I don't think we've had a better one for this part of the country I agree. in a long, long time. And it's it, happening. So it's happening. And it's only a matter of time before New York does start at some point. We don't know when. I think it'll be sooner than people would like to are give it credit for at this point. Are you expecting it in 2013 or maybe? I am. Okay. Yes. I think that the uh, way people are approaching it now is let the decision be made by the county. Okay. And rather than by the state. And so we should try it and see what happens. We're with Bob Aronson. I'm Tejas Gosai, South Point Marcellus Shield Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Excellent. Good luck. I'm Tejas Gosai. We're with the South Point Marcellus Shale Chamber of Commerce here at the Doug East Conference. Tons of oil and gas, tons of stuff happening. And you have a lot to talk about. This is the very entrepreneurial Amelia Roncone with Specialty Oil Field Solutions and a couple other companies we'll talk about. Yeah. So tell me about Specialty Oil Field Solutions. So Specialty Oil Field is a full service drilling fluids and solids control company. We're located here in Pittsburgh, but we also have expanded to Ohio to take uh, part in the Utica Shale. Nice. Um, we provide drilling fluids and solids control to the operators here in the area. We're working for um, Chevron, EQT, Stone Energy, those are some of the nice. some of our majors, CNX. And how long has have you been with the company or how long has the company been? Um, we've been established here in Pittsburgh for about two years. Nice. And your office is where? Leedsdale, right on the river. So we're able to barge and rail our product in. Well, that's a great company and you're doing wonderful work yes. there, but you're also doing a lot of very unconventional uh, entrepreneurial things. Let's talk about Amelia's Elegant Catering. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of how I got into the industry. I'm actually a registered nurse and I broke in by taking food out to the oil and gas rigs. Yeah, so now we feed crews. Healthy every, food. Healthy food. Nice. Every day, twice a day, um, we're taking food out to the, the frack crews. So how <clears throat> difficult is that to do? I mean, you have to have FR clothing. You have to have FR clothing and um, the logistics are a little bit tough, but we're managing and right. we're learning along the way. Um, well, let me ask you this, just because I'm thinking about it out loud, but okay. um, you obviously have vehicles to deal with. Correct. Um, we are, are trying our darndest to convert them. Nice, to yes. compress natural yes. gas? Yes, yes. Yeah, because then you, you would only have to pay, it would be half the price exactly. to run out to Ohio or run out to some of these places. Well, what's, what's cool also that you're doing is uh, creating jobs. Yes. Um, and you're part of a great nonprofit organization, the Young Professional Women in Energy. So I started Young Professional Women in Energy um, back in January to help employ more women in the energy industry. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why not start by doing it with my own company? Right. Um, we're, we're hi we've hired anywhere from 10 to 15 women over the course of the year. That's great. Um, for the catering. And, and you help place women and help make sure yes. that they, can, um, they know so, the information. So to obtain the women locally, I've gone to Dress for Success, which is a global nonprofit um, here nice. in Pittsburgh, and we've educated them on energy 
and we're pulling women out of the city and placing them in jobs in jobs on the rigs. That's very, very cool. Yes. So Amelia's Elegant Catering uh, dot com is the website. YPWE.org. YPWE.org. Specialtyoilfield.com. Nice. Amelia Roncone, very cool stuff. Check out the websites and thank you for talking to us. Thanks, Tages. All right. It's dawn and we're back here at the Doug East Conference again at the David Lawrence Convention Center here in Pittsburgh. And I have uh, just a gentleman that came by here who's a part of the uh, Doug East show. Do you have a booth here? or uh? No, we uh, we wanted to come here because good. of uh, being able to meet everyone here. Well, good. The whole purpose of this uh, video is just, just to show that not everybody that walks through here has a booth here. There are people coming through here for looking for opportunities. And uh, it's Mark Darrow. Is that how you pronounce that it? That is correct, Don. Manager, Marketing and Sales of... Rail America, is that correct? Yes, for uh, two railroads, the Chicago, Fort Wayne and Eastern, which runs from Chicago into central Ohio, and the Wellsboro and Corning in north central Pennsylvania that runs from Wellsboro north up into Corning, New York. Well, let me ask you two questions. One is, how does the rail work and how does it relate to the gas oil industry as we see the Utica and Marcella Shale? And specifically, do you have clients that are using your service? Well, this, your South Point Park is uh, a key uh, key method for companies like mine to be able to go to a central location, to be able to meet, meet the decision makers uh, that pull the trigger mm -hmm. on the commodities throughout the entire Marcellus and Utica play. You should be running our Chamber of Commerce. You said the exact, exact thing that we're trying to convey. And I think it's important for everyone to realize right. that uh, with a place uh, like South Point where executives from all over the world, uh, from Houston, wherever they're at, Canada, that can fly into Pittsburgh, uh, jump down 79 and go to these offices where there is a conglomeration of all the different decision makers for all the different tiers, the three tiers of the gas industry. Yeah, and, and you know what's nice is when you visit South Point, you can check in on four or five different companies who are making those decisions all within a couple blocks of each and other. And that's why they're all there, uh, companies uh, that uh, are the well exploration companies to the well service companies that uh, take care of their needs and utilize our railroad and provide jobs for our area yeah. and it all relates it all interconnects throughout what, the entire play. What percentage of growth would you say you've had relative to the gas oil uh, industry Marcellus Utica uh, as opposed to previous to, to that? Oh, and, uh, previously the little railroad that I'm on in north central PA was just a little passenger train railroad with one or two customers moving a, maybe a, a few hundred cars a year. Right. Um, as the play expanded over 2008, 2009 into 2011, it went into over 10,000 cars in one year. Oh my God. Uh, predominantly uh, hydraulic fracturing sand and, and other commodities related privately, to the wells. Privately owned or uh, it was It was privately owned by the Miles Group and then taken over in uh, April of 2012 by Rail America. That's RA on the New York Stock Exchange. I'm just going to say, I'll bet that's booming. Uh, and that company, our company, Rail America was just taken over by the Genesee and Wyoming Railroad uh, in a uh, $1.3 billion merger to create wow. the largest short line railroad group on earth. And oh, so all of these railroads that uh, Genesee and Wyoming will now own in the Utica and the Marcellus will offer uh, many of the companies the ability to uh, efficiently and are environmentally friendly bringing the commodities that they need to drill and frack the wells. And then to have that central location in South Point to be able yeah. to go to that one place Great. is so key to people like me uh, and it relates to jobs uh, throughout the yeah. region. Absolutely. And so uh, I really enjoy going to, to Cannonsburg Good. and going to South Point and uh, it's Being made a big today, difference huh? in, a, in a lot of people's lives, I'll tell you what. You heard it from uh, Mark Darrow and uh, Mark is with uh, Rail America. And we want to thank you for watching this interview. This is Don Hoder, and once again, we have a local company. You are local, aren't you? Yes. Good. I was going to <laughs> cut the interview. They're not local. Forget it. A local company. It's Oil and Gas Title Abstracting. And uh, this is Lori Nazer, and Lori has been with the company how long? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. And a half I didn't years. realize that. Yes. How long has the company been in existence? Since 2007. 2007, and was their specialty always oil and gas? Yes. Um, we wow. started out from a law firm wanted in oil and gas division, and okay. so that's how um, we originated. And then we've just been growing, and uh, we do other things, um, due diligence. Uh, we can do right-of-way searches. We're intense research-based. Um, Good. I'm glad yes. you're here because I always hear this word abstracting yes why what what is the affiliation with the word abstracting um, and how does that tie into 
what you're doing? Well, pretty much what we need to do for oil and gas companies is to research everything about a piece of property so that they know everything there is to know about that parcel of land. They need to know um, whom to pay, they need to know um, what to look out for, who owns the oil and gas, who owns the coal, um, what to avoid, what to look out for. How do you um, do that? Courthouse, I We go to courthouses and um, uh -huh. we, have, we have traveling abstractors that will go anywhere the client needs us to go, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and looking to branch off even more. Now you call it abstracting. Yes. I'm assuming that means you're abstracting information. <laughs> I'm a little slow, but I think I have it. That's what the abstracting We're, part is. Yes, um, mm -hmm. we are obtaining all public records ever recorded from the mid 1800s all the way until today. So your client is all, actually on both ends of the spectrum. Your client could be a company like Chesapeake, but your client could be. Joe the farmer who wants to know information about his own land. We work for large and small oil and gas companies um, as well as law firms who are helping oil and gas companies to get to the bottom of, of ownership. Okay, and you probably get into expert witnessing of uh, litigation situations where two we, people think they own the gas rights. We, we go through um, the prothonotary's office as well to find, oh. to find things uh, of that nature or um, uh -huh. we pretty much can read all the documents and find out if, if the oil and gas was ever severed from the property. So it's kind of uncle sold his land to his nephew for a dollar. Correct. Then he found out it was worth $800,000. Exactly. He's like, I didn't uh, sell him the oil. I just sold him the land. Exactly. Is that what happens? <laughs> Correct. I could imagine you've got some pretty good stories there. Well, we do. Well, good. So if, I, if we need your services, we go to Lori. And Lori is uh, on Bow Street right in uh, Washington, PA. And yes. your website is? www.oilgastitleabstracting.com oil title gas abstracting oil, gas, com. Title, that's abstracting. a mouthful and uh, <laughs> so they can contact you there and uh, start getting abstracting done correct okay thank you very much thank Lori. you Don. hi everyone we're here at the Marcellus shale chamber of commerce booth i'm amelia roncone i am the founder of the young professional women in energy group here in pittsburgh we're here with amanda marks she works for waste management and she recently kicked off a chapter in west virginia for young professional women in energy amanda what are your plans for 2013? Going into 2013, we hope to engage women in the industry and outside the industry to present the diverse opportunities that the energy industry has offering to them right now. How do you plan to start employing women in the industry? YPWE.org, our website, just recently launched the jobs page. We can have industry leaders and partners come together with YPWE to post job openings within their company. And we can offer those job postings to women who are members of our organization or who would like to be members of our organization. So that's YPWE.org. What is the mission statement for YPWE in West Virginia? We want to um, educate and prepare women for the diverse marketplace that's present with the industry right now. Um, we hope to bring them together to offer them networking opportunities. What kind of networking opportunities do you hold today? We hold four core events a year and those events um, feature special speakers who will educate women on certain topics that are important to them, if it be leadership, industry news, um, job opportunities, mentoring, and networking. And we also have um, monthly networking opportunities that are a smaller scale event that we will use local businesses to host them and they can be a cocktail hour or a coffee hour. Wonderful. Thank you, Amanda. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Hey, it's Dawn, and we're back again, and this time we are talking to Judd McBride, right, Judd? Yes, sir. And you're with Stallion Oil Field Services. That's Get that right? And just tell me in a nutshell, what type of service does Stallion provide? I guess, first of all, let me preface it by saying you're at 501 Corporate Drive right here in South Point, but of course you're here at the Heart uh, Energy um, Doug Conference at the David Lawrence Convention Center. So it's a small world. There are about 400 companies here from anywhere from Texas to Boston. But you're originally from Houston, Texas, right? That's correct. Uh, uh -huh. Good. And you want to tell us what, uh, what uh, Stallion Oil Fields does? Uh, here in the eastern region, we've got uh, several product lines. Our, our, well -side our well side accommodations units um, is one of our main lines. Uh, and, of course, the auxiliaries that go along with that, which would be light towers, generators, um, any any sort of surface rental items that, that they would need to support the the uh, the living and working arrangements on the well site exclusively rent the equipment to yes. people. Yes, 
exclusively run it. And, and you know, the way we kind of look at our business is, uh, you know, we're selling the service and it comes with a, a house yeah. and some of these other pieces Delivery of Delivery and everything else. Now, you That's even right. have uh, a live-in quarters, correct? Living quarters uh, office and living quarters is uh, is the accommodations business. Uh. Now your office here is comprised of, from what you were telling me earlier, uh, three of you are managing the office here. The South Point office, or the South Point office, is really a regional kind of headquarters for us. Uh -huh. um, so it's a limited staff there. Most of the action in our business happens at our field locations. Okay, so you've placed the orders, they place the orders through you, and then you have a whole army that comes in and does That's right. We've probably got, uh, since we started business in 2008, we've, we've gone from, you know, me, employee one up here, to probably, I think we're somewhere in about 230 employees now in the, in the region. In the region, this yes, region, sir. 230 That's, employees. We've got an office that we're just about to open in Carmichael's. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. um, we've got one in Williamsport. Oh. And we've got another one in Paris, Ohio. And okay, among so those... How many of those are local hires versus people who came in? Do you, you have know, any there's idea? yeah, oh no, there's uh, probably ninety five percent in the area of ninety five percent of the employees that work for Stallion in this area are all born, bred Pennsylvania Ohioans. So you're a, te a live testimonial here today of uh, a company that came to the area from Houston and hired uh, how many people then? A couple hundred. Oh yeah, no, 200 and call it 33 now. Wow, that's incredible. And uh, how do you qualify? Do you hire now? <laughs> Pardon me? Are you hiring now? <laughs> well, you know, we're always hiring. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, there is uh, there is some turnover in our business, but uh, you know we are still growing our fleet, uh -huh. and as, yeah. as we pick up more business and. Well, the, inter and the, the industry grows in this area. So just thinking out loud here, if you have a 230 person payroll with an average income of uh, uh, 40,000 a person, figuring some are higher, some are lower, you're doing an $800,000. Our average is probably a little over that. So we're probably, I can tell you last month's payroll was probably uh, 1.2 in that range? It's a good guess. So, gee whiz, you're bringing a lot of uh, opportunity to the area. Yeah, no, we, we definitely are, are... That doesn't count your gross sales. No. That's just employment. That's employment, that's right. Wow, that's incredible numbers. So there you are, uh, for those of you who are saying, <laughs> does this Marcella Shell thing really work? No, and, <laughs> and obviously, here's uh, another live testimonial that uh, that is bringing business. To the, now, is it dropping off? Everybody went to Ohio, didn't they? No, not necessarily. I mean, our business is actually, what we have seen, Western PA in our business is actually picking up um, at the same time as More, Ohio, uh, but it's coming from Williamsport. Our Williamsport area, the northeastern Pennsylvania, is slowing down a little bit. Uh -huh. But we're seeing Western PA pick up. So are you us. making a transition from well site to more of a midstream uh, product? Uh, you know, as that as that business grows, uh, and it's it's You're obviously all the the rage. Yeah. You know, we're not going to uh -huh. go away from our well site stuff, but we will look to. Uh, you know, find places where we can accommodate those. So your as business well. plan is a five, ten year plan to stay here. Uh, yeah, as long as uh, yeah. as long as it's going, work. You know, great. I, I'm planning on putting my kids to college in Pennsylvania. There you go. We have a few colleges we're going to help you with. A couple so. right in South Point. So that's Judd's uh, testimonial to uh, the fact that Stallion Oil Fields is here. Uh, quite a few employees and quite a few uh, opportunities uh, that are related to the gas oil industry. And I want to thank you, Judd, for uh, giving us that piece of information. Great. Thank you, Don. Okay. We're here at the South Point Marcellus Shale Chamber of Commerce booth at Doug East downtown David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Huge turnout. You saw all the videos earlier. We're with the man, the myth, the legend here, Don Hoder. Check out the magazine. Southpoint.net is the website. Southpointchamber.com uh, works even better. Southpointchamber.com. Well, what's great is we're, you are also having a couple trade shows coming up very soon. Yes, and, and I'd like to say, I'd like to just drop back and say those people that you just saw, seven or eight videos, are really great testimonials that you and I have talked about on your radio show, on uh, Froggy Radio, that, uh, that uh, there is opportunity and there are actually people, you just saw them on right. video, that have expanded their companies, brought jobs to the area that never did exist before, and uh, they're moving forward with anticipation of growth. Even though you hear rumors, it's slowed down, it's right. stopped, it's this, it's that, it's moving forward and there are drop growth in the area. And go ahead, I interrupted you. No, 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 it's cool. <laughs> um, but to take that even a step further, 
a lot of people have that fear of what's happening and, and they don't know. Well, It's too good to be true. Yeah, maybe it's too good to be true. No, it's not. It's here, it's happening, and it's not stopping, and it's only going to continue, Gosh. grow exponentially over time. So 2013 is going to be a huge year. It, it is, and actually this show is uh, almost doubled in size, and uh, that's quite a testimonial to the companies that right. are committed to this uh, Heart, Heart Energy industry. does a wonderful job, love Heart Energy. David L. Lawrence, it's packed. There's just tons of oil and gas going on here. Yes. So we're going to see you at the next trade show. There's uh, two next year. Yeah, we have the February show, and we have the uh, September show, South Point Trade Show. Dot com. com and of course uh, southpointchamber.com but they all get you to the same place yes <laughs> I'm Tejas Gosai Don Hoder here from the South Point Marcel Shell Chamber live at the Heart Energy Doug uh, conference thank you